ามานอนในหลอยในกัดนะคะเจ็บใจดีว่าเขาดีเขามาเผามากเขานอนในป่าเพื่อนเขาเพื่อนเขาGod has given me a real heart for poor people, disadvantaged and oppressed people, and the Shan are all of that. Well, I heard there's a lot of risks involved in going to Burma, but I really believe that if God wants us there, then He's totally going to provide everything that we need. The Shan were once a great nation with lands spanning from North Thailand to northern India. In 1947, an agreement was made to give the Shan state the right to secede from an interim Burmese Union after 10 years. That agreement was never honored, and since 1962, Burma has been ruled by successive military regimes. Each one of them has a really interesting story to tell. I think any Shan person who has made it to Thailand has a lot of experience. You know, when we look at Shan, the thing that overwhelms you is the real sense of hopelessness in their lives. I mean, they're living in houses made of tin, and they're exposed to the elements, and they kind of move from place to place. Wherever the work is, that's where they live. The family structure is really falling apart in a way. Often the father is, is drunk and drug addict and sometimes they beat, beat the children. There are people that are being dragged into prostitution or selling drugs just in order for them to survive. Um, alcoholism is very prevalent. Drug abuse is very prevalent. You know, God put us there for a reason. We're right next to these people who have so many needs. Yeah, we just felt like the Lord was calling us to just try to build relationships with them. The students are motivated to learn. They're very slow learners. For a lot of them, they've never been in school before. We have a school for 65 children. We actually want to, to have a bigger place more children that can come and join us. And... We want to really encourage you to, to be involved in Boxes for Burma. And that's a way we use to get into a lot of communities and villages that we would have normally no access to. Um, we even take these boxes into the monasteries and give it to the novices. And if you just one time could see their faces when they get these boxes, they don't want to smile, but they can't help themselves. Very few Shan know anything about Jesus. They've not heard about him. They think of Jesus as a foreigner's religion. They believe that to be Shan is to be Buddhist. Something. Shan also is struggling a lot with fear, fear of spirits. You can find that most Shan, they have tattoos. Those things are actually covenant to do with spirits or kind of a protection from evil spirits. And so that's why they'll get kicked out of their village, because the community's saying, you're bringing bad karma on us by following Jesus and not keeping the spirits happy, so we can't have you here. Get lost, get gone. So we have hope only in Jesus. For the Sean, once they receive Christ in their heart, they really grab onto it. They really grab that it's a relationship. They've got so much religion as a Buddhist previously, but once they encounter that relationship, it seems to become very personal to them. They have to see that this love we're talking about Jesus among the Shan is not just some philosophy or a nice idea, but this is real. This love is real. This God is real. We've seen that as they've gotten into that relationship that they want other people to know about their God. <laughs> มุมมองว่ามีพี่น้องไต้หลายๆก็เ
ตีมีภาวะมึนคานังมืออันตั้งอันเนาะเขาแค่ให้เขามีภาวะมึนนังคาอันที่มีภาวะมึนเดียวในเขา That's our prayer is that God would do awesome deeds. They would say He is the one true God, and that they would place their hope for everything, for their future, their life today, everything in His hands. Every foundation that we've laid in our ministry has been done through prayer. Any success that we can claim has been done through prayer. If people want to partake in the success that we're seeing, they want to be a part of that. The best thing people can do is pray. You know, my prayer for them is that, although they're a little resistant to the gospel right now, their hearts will be open to receive the only thing that can satisfy their needs. I want them to have that joy. And really, most importantly, I want them to know the hope of the gospel. I just want to be a part of communicating that hope to them.